So it's Saturday. Put my pants up and uh, keep it tight. Ugh, I need to shave, but this is what I actually look like. <laughs> so it's Saturday, the 28th of May. It is the last wedding that I'm capturing for two months um, before I just go all in on winter, do no wedding related stuff for two months apart from some marketing. This is a huge one. We're doing it in Fremantle, the place called Assembly Yard. I'm excited because it's one of the biggest weddings I've, I'm gonna do in a while. And there's so much value packed into today. I've got my bro Jason helping me out, so shout outs to Jason Bass. Here's a link there to his uh, Instagram photography stuff, hit him up. Anyway, let's do this, transition. What? Straight into it. <laughs> let's go. Feels like every video is just gonna be sponsored by uh, Hunt and Brew. Go on, give that a taste. <laughs> so this is my van, it's huge. Here's Jason for size comparison. We brought it today because I'm using it for something else later on and we're gonna go in his beast. So let's uh, take all my cameras and put them in their bags. This is assembly yard right now. And in there we have the wedding. We'll come back there later. Let's head off to the boys. So this is Jason's car, the beast. And he helped me on Thursday, which was his last freebie for me. But I'm gonna give him a tip. Oh, sh thank you. <laughs> yes. Don't thank spend you. it all at once. <laughs> all right, first stop, the boys. And the groom prep, got my strap on. Camera one with the 24 mil, and then camera two with the 70 to 200. Jason's rocking the strap on as well. He's going the 35 mil. All right, let's see how the boys go. We're heading to the girls. The boys are done, they were ladsy. It's gonna be a really, really fun reception. You just get the vibe from the lads at, at a wedding. If the lads are on point, then it's gonna be fun throughout the whole day. Perks of having a clutch second shooter. He went to park the car and I'm straight up to the girls. Ooh, level five. Top of the hotel, let's see what it looks like. Here we find ourselves just chilling for a little bit whilst the girls are getting changed. I'm gonna transition them and do a TikTok video. Now that we're gonna go uh, to the ceremony. Let's get it. We are at Fremantle. Ports, where Gage Roads is, and the Maritime Museum right there. It's reception time, Michael Jackson's playing, the hard part's over, life's good. Man, it's been an absolute hectic couple of days. Uh, the weekend's wedding was a huge success. I'm still trying to get used to filming everything. So today, Monday, May 30th, is 1.30 in the afternoon. I just finished a whole ton of emails sent out to clients, brand deals and stuff like that. And now I'm heading to Burswood to do a, a really nice hotel room shoot in collaboration with a friend of mine. I'm gonna take some photos uh, with her and she's gonna also uh, help me with my content too. So a little bit of a trade for trade sort of thing. So let's see how that goes. Let's get it. So we're here at the Crown Towers. There's a free upgrade to the villa. How's the view? How is that view? Just, just check this out. Just wake up, bang, Perth City. There it is. And we have the bathroom, the bathtub, and just out there, no worries. That is insane. Okay, so it's Tuesday and uh, we're back at the Crown and we're having a uh, crystal room breakfast. That's it right there. All right, I did the photo shoot. Now I'm in the uh, Murray Street car park and check this out. So this is my car here, in the lines, in the lines, and this poor person's gonna struggle getting out. Fortunately, his window is still open. So you'll have to call in that way. Good strategy, good strategy. Let's go meet up Jason and uh, get my photos from the weekend's wedding. Let's hit it. There he is. Put my strap back on. You love putting a strap on? I do love putting your strap on. <laughs> All right, Jason, here we go. There it is. Yes. QR code, media. Let's go. Let's go. 
Right, quick transition to the next spot. I am uh, in Dianella, a suburb in Perth outside of a school called Carmel. It's a Jewish school and I'm uh, invited to speak with the year 10 group of kids, the entrepreneurs, the business people, the future. I'm excited to give them my value in terms of how to do it on social media, how to market themselves, how to run a business, how to do all of that. <laughs> All right, so this is the chaos that is my room. I've got hey. my wife. These are the PCs that I have. There's the tower down there. And PlayStation 5s each side, his and hers. That's my one, because I like the pink headphones. No, that's mine. <laughs> and then over here, I've got two more computers. Well, two monitors. One's the, there's the design monitor, and that's the second monitor for it. And just, I haven't used it in a long time, because my laptop is king. My year to date that I, all my weddings and shit, my couch, and, and some rather random stuff and we're gonna clear all this out and leave this desk here. I'm gonna put the shoe boxes here for that collaboration I'm gonna do with Shoe Me and my sneakers. Let's get to it. Here's another regular character of my life. I'm gonna miss you soon. Oh, all right, let's get to it. Oh, he's got the J's on, prepping for Sneakerland Saturday. Yeah. Doggo's first. Doggo's first. Right, so we've uh, extracted the table. There's a little bit of room here. And now we're moving the monitors into Sabine's room and the PlayStation 5s because we got two of them. So here we are. We've moved this table now here and we have this extra random room here. The shoes are gonna go here, so we're gonna stack up the wall here. So we're just waiting for old mate to come in and we're gonna go. We're gonna move this soon. This is gonna go into another space. They're gonna be sideways because the door opens sideways for the shoes. But yeah, we'll see how we go. Well, there's the main man, Carl. What's up? All good? We got the boxes here. Tell me a brief history of how you got onto this. Originally, five years ago, say, no, actually more, 2015, I was in an apartment in the city. Um, stuck for storage space, so kind of a concept. Um, yeah, it started from that. Nice. That's it. And where do you put your old shoe boxes? Just throw them away? The old shoe boxes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 nice. So the boxes have arrived, all 15 boxes, and there's two sets of them per box, and they look like this. This is the product, and uh, put your shoes in there, open the door up, whichever way you want it, maybe put the flap up that way. Shoes go in here. Let's actually see if my shoe size fits in this. <laughs> so, let's see if they fit. I've got uh, a pair of my, one of my all time favorite shoes, the uh, Jordan 1 Breads. These were the very first pair of uh, Jordans that I purchased when I started getting obsessed with them. 2012, December, when I first discovered that I, uh, that people actually camped out for shoes. And I was like, fuck it, I'll camp out for shoes. And met some of my best mates. Without further ado, size US 14. <coughs> I'll put them in like this. Whoa. Yes. Like a glove. And then just, look. And we are ready to rumble. And then you can see them nice and clear. From the other side, it's frosted because it's at the back, but at the, at the front, Nice and clear. I need to clean my shoes, but uh, that's a good box. Let's see how 30 of them look just in the space next to me. Let's get it. Oh, he's fucked it already. Let's know what's going on. It's not rocket surgery, mate. <laughs> All right, old Jason boy. Struggling. Never, never made anything with his hands in his life. <laughs> I've never fucking opened a box in my life. Each of these boxes has two sets of these boxes. My first box. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, so I like making chicken wings in an air fryer. And last time I bought a Kmart air fryer. No shade, no hate. It served me well for the last two to three years. But now we have, hashtag not sponsored, this one. And 40% off. Quick maths, $249. That's a hundred dollars off. Shout outs to Maya. Hashtag not sponsored. I genuinely 